everyone, welcome back to another sewing video. So today I thought we would try something a little bit different, uh, inspired by Paige Joanna's Bertha Cardigan Sew Along by Tillian Buttons. I wanted to film myself making it, but do it slightly differently. So we're going to do it like a time trial. So if you don't know, Tillian the Buttons have this lovely book called Make It Simple. It's got lots of really easy to make projects in it. I wasn't overly fussed about the projects in this book until I got the book yesterday and fell in love with about six or seven different things in here. So I think I will be making a lot more from this book, but it's really beautifully laid out. It smells really nice. <laughs> Within it, Tilly says how long each project should take to make. So we're going to put it to the test and see. So the Bertha cardigan, which I'm going to make today, as you see here, it says that it's going to take 40 minutes to cut and then it's going to take an hour and 35 minutes to sew. Will it take this long? Let's find out. And on each section of the book, which I really like, I tend to do projects all in one go, but I really like the idea of spacing a project over a couple of days as I did with my Marigold jumpsuit. And in this book, it has the little descriptions of how long it's going to take for each section. So we're going to time it and see if I can do it in the times that she says. Who knows? I have already um, traced off my sizing. I'm making a size six and I am using this fabric, which you will have seen hopefully in my fabric haul video. And if you haven't seen that, go and check it out because there's just loads of fabric in there. I don't think anyone realized quite how much money I had spent on fabric recently. Uh, did I get in trouble with my parents? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> Yay, being an adult living at home. Anyway, this is a twill wool weave from Flamingo Fabrics and it's a medium weight, so I think it'll make up really nicely. I'm very excited. Let's get on with it. The first section is cutting, so I'm gonna get it all set out and then it should take us 40 minutes. Will we do it? Will we not? Let's find out. Stay fueled by coffee. Mm. there we have it. I have cut out all of the pattern pieces. This was a nightmare to cut. It was so thick. I think it's the thickest material that I have worked with, but we got there eventually. All the notches are done. Very important. Always do your notches. Learn that the hard way. And we're ready to sew. It told me it would take 40 minutes. I did it in 24. So feeling pretty confident that this make is going to be done this afternoon if the rest of the time scales are like that too. There is one thing that I didn't think about when starting this, and that was pockets. Do I add pockets or not? I'm still debating this because I have more than enough material, but I'm trying to decide if, if it's gonna be worth it. I love a good pocket. I keep my phone in my pockets, I keep snacks in my pockets, occasionally keep a coffee pod in there if I'm wandering around the house. Okay, we're going to add the pockets. Apparently, this will take an extra 45 minutes. It's a lot of time for some pockets. I think I have enough material left over. So I'm going to add those. Yeah, I'm get, definitely, I'm going to add them because I'll regret it if I don't. That's what I've decided to do. I'm just going to do it. So, an extra 45 minutes to add the pockets. I will time it. Let's see how we do. Okay, so I have cut out the four extra bits for the pockets and I've currently taken 12 minutes and 36 seconds to do that. That's to draft it and cut it. Uh, so now we are going to do, oh, I need to do interfacing. Anyone else hate putting interfacing on things? It's the worst. Okay, so I need to do the interfacing. And then, So I have added in the pockets, ta-da, ta-da. It took me 53 minutes, which is slightly longer than the 45 advised, but 
uh, this material is super thick and I might have broken two needles while trying to do it. So I'm interested to see how I'm going to manage the rest of it, especially around this bulky bit at the ends, but we're going to do it and it's going to work. So now we can actually start the real time trial and see how long it's going to take for me to complete this cardigan. Let's start the clock. I sound like a really bad game show host. So the next section is to assemble the bodice and sleeves and this says it's going to take me half an hour. So let's see if in 30 minutes we can assemble the bodice and sleeves. Fingers crossed. Okay, we have done the first section. That should have taken me 30 minutes and it took me 35 pretty much. Uh, and I think that's more down to the fact that I went back and searched the seams. Anyway, it's together. Um, I did get a little bit confused. At one point I thought I had put one side on upside down. I'm not really sure how I worked that out. So I've just got the neckband, the cuffs and the waistband to do. It's very cozy. I'm glad I put the pockets on um, and I think this material definitely makes it feel more like a coat than a cardigan but at the same time oh, I'm gonna live in this it's so warm lay the cardigan out flat right side up with the bottom edge open out flat lay the hemband over the right side of the cardigan lining up with the raw edges at the bottom pin along trim seam allowance stitch take your time that took seven minutes and 34 seconds. So we were well under the 25 minutes that I thought it would take, but that is now attached. There is so much material there. That is now attached as you can see. Um, and I believe next we're going to do the sleeves maybe, or potentially the neckband. Either way, we've made a lot of progress. It's coming together, oh, there's so much of it. I'm gonna get lost in this and I can't wait. Ideally, I'm going to get it done tonight so that I can sit in front of the fire with a cup of tea, snuggles up in this and watch some TV with my mum. That is what I would like this to be done in time for. So I've got an hour and a half until that point. So in theory, according to Tilly, this should be done within, this is going to take me 25, that's going to take me 20. 45 minutes. How do I still have 45 minutes to go? Interesting. But apparently this is going to take me another 45 minutes. So fingers crossed. Operation. Make it in time for tea. But the neckband is absolutely the bit that I have been worrying myself about. So hopefully it will be fine. So the neckband is on. I've not finished the seam yet because I'm gonna overlock it. Um, but I broke another needle doing this and almost broke my machine. <laughs> Should not have used such thick fabric. However, up to this point, we have done it in 20 minutes and 53 seconds. So I reckon with the finishing of it that it will take about 25 minutes to do in total. So, looking pretty good and all we have to do now look at this doesn't it look so nice so nice on camera and in person to be honest um all we have to do now is the sleeves i think she's given 20 minutes for this or check in a second before we get started but i feel like 20 minutes is very generous so we'll see how that goes ta-da it's done I'm really pleased with it. I think because of the material I've used, it's a bit more of a coat than a cardigan, so I'm not sure how much wear I'll get like around the house, but definitely it's super warm, super cozy. Adding the pockets, even though it took a little bit longer, was the perfect idea. And I think I did it in pretty much the time scale I was given. So it should have taken me an hour and 35 minutes, plus the 45 for the pockets. 
plus the 40 minutes for cutting out. And I think we pretty much got there with this, but I'm really happy with the result. I think next time I will definitely be making this in a lighter weight fabric, just so that I can wear it around the house super comfortably. But on the whole, I'm really impressed. It was very easy to make. The instructions were super clear. At no point did I get stuck. And I just think it's just so nice. I'm thrilled with this fabric. And I think it's going to make the perfect spring into summer throw it on. Can you imagine in summer this with a little cute little top and then denim shorts in the evenings? It's just going to be perfect. Um, so I'm very, very happy with this. I really enjoyed seeing how long I really enjoyed seeing how long it took me to do everything and I think it gave me a really good deadline so I wasn't looking at my phone, I wasn't going and making tea unnecessarily, like I stuck to I'm spending this next 30 minutes uninterrupted sewing and that was a really nice way to work. So if you want to see me do some more of these please leave a comment below, make sure you follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this video and also hit that like button because as I've said before I do a happy dance every time I get a notification and I really appreciate it so thank you very very much and I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you all next week. Bye!